ان الجيكس Not sure what happened with their speakers there. Just got a notice of the switch. So hopefully you've been able to hear me. <clears throat> and then the VIX tried to move higher and then it sold off down to its 50 day moving average. <clears throat> it has a little bit of a gap here. Could potentially go lower, fill that gap, and then move higher. <clears throat> SP. Hit a new high today. Here was a breakout over here. And we can see it hit a new high over here. <clears throat> Turn it to the weekly. <clears throat> Just breaking our above that blue zone. Here's the RSP. Didn't look as good earlier in the week. Let's take one of these, take off the stochastics. And you can see it had a nice bounce today. Got above the 10 day moving average. The NASDAQ also set a closing high. Nice breakout here. Hold back to the 20 day moving average and then bounce. Good uh, technical. Treatment here, up nearly 2%. I guess I had too many Qs there. Equal weighted uh, NASDAQ, had a big bounce as well. Looks like we got a closing high here as well, up 40 cents over the previous high, up 1.62%. Nice volume over here. Small caps hit a bottom, bounced off of their 50 day moving average, and now they're butting their head up against the 20, uh, nearly up 1%. And the Dow Jones reached a closing high as well today, up 1%. Uh, nice volume over here as well. So let's go to the news. Pull up the news here. I think starting next week, I'll have a word of the day that we'll start on a far show with. But here's the news. So in the sector breakdown in consumer, start off with Macy's, bounce off its 50-day moving average, plans to lay off about 13% of the corporate staff, roughly 2,350 positions overall, and close five stores in a bid to trim costs and redirect spending to improve shopping experience for consumers. Uh, Mesa Air. Shares jumped after the original air carrier struck several deals with partner United Airlines. Initially jumped and then closed on the low, which isn't too good. See what UAL did. Um, they were sold off, didn't really help them. Uh, Wendy's announces CEO succession of Kirk Tanner comes from Pepsi to succeed Todd Henniger as president and CEO and the company reaffirming previously provided full year 2023 outlook. And Wendy's was off 0.36 on the news. Beacon announces offering a 5.22 million shares of common stock for holders. Didn't really hurt the stock, which uh, usually does, but it's actually up 1%. Onto energy.
industrial and materials. ASTS Space Mobile, 32.26 million share spot secondary price at $3.10. And um, yeah, got a huge gap down on that news, down 25%. J.B. Hunt, quarter four EPS, $1.47 versus $1.75. Wouldn't think that would do much as revenues fell 9%, but I guess it was better than people were expecting. Their earnings are down 23%. Matson said it sees quarter four diluted EPS, $1.65 to $1.78, above consensus of a dollar quarter. And that really moved the stock up a little over 4%. PPG Industries, quarter four adjusted EPS, $1.53 versus estimate of $1.50. Not uh, what people are hoping for. Uh, even though the earnings came up of uh, 25%, stock sold off in pretty high volume, down close to 2.5%. And Valero, Up slightly today, raised quarterly dividend from $1.02 to $1.07 per share. On to financials. KSPI, 11.3 million shares, IPO price at 92 versus ADS. I'm not sure why this isn't coming up. Well, this is not, I guess it's not a public company yet. Um, on the U.S. exchange anyway. Bank of Ozark, quarter four EPS, $1.50 versus estimate of $1.48. Got a big bounce. Pretty good volume. Earnings up 12%. Banner Bank, quarter four EPS, $1.24 versus $1.28. And less than... People are expecting, and their earnings are off 20%. The stock was down 1%. Huntington Bank shares, quarter four adjusted EPS 27 cents in line with consensus. And that moved up, even though their EPS was down 37%. Stock moved up almost 4%. Independent Bank, quarter four EPS $1.26 versus $1.24. Uh, down 1.33%, tried to move higher, and then we've got a sell-off. Earnings were down 25%. Metropolitan Bank, quarter four EPS, $1.28 versus $1.49. Not doing well, and it continues its downdraft, down 2.17%. Ocean First Financial, quarter four EPS, $0.46 cents versus $0.43. Cents, and yes, people like that even though the EPS was down 55%. Got a nice bounce up 6.22% today. On to healthcare, AstraZeneca once again reports Voidea has been approved in Japan for the treatment of paroxymal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, or PNH. PNH is uh, much easier to say, and it is up 0.03%, not moving too much. Ikena Oncology provided an organizational update outlining key objectives towards advancing development on its lead targeted oncology assets. And um, it wasn't what people were looking for because it was down over 7%. And on technology, what really drove the market, I mentioned it last night a little bit. I guess I should have bought a lot more shares, um, but I wasn't sure where things were going to go. This is super microcomputer. Now let's just look back in time. I originally bought this. At 70.
which would be right about here somewhere. Right about here, about a op one option at 70. Sure, wish I had bought 10, be sitting a lot prettier, but um, sold that at 336 from 70 to 336. And I've been dabbling in and out of the stock uh, and glad I got at least six shares in. We'll see where this goes, see if it sets up. But um, they're going to be doubling their earnings. Their earnings are going to be, um, I believe, up over 100%. This is what really shot things up today. And investors couldn't wait to get in. Apparently, uh, I believe Meta has been buying a lot of their uh, AI-type computers. So <clears throat> AMD and Nvidia chips, I believe, are going into their computers. So zoom away it does like a rocket ship so we'll take a look back here on their weekly again this is like a high tight flag one of the rarest uh, formations in in the stock market but as we had um, about i don't know maybe six months ago we talked about Qualcomm in 2001 had a high tide flag, and overall they went up 2,500%. See if we can bring that up. Qualcomm. Let's see if that'll go back to 2000. So it's right about, I guess it's even before this. So maybe if we take this back. Our look back feature. Changes to a weekly. Here's a breakout over here. How did it double? So went from 30 to 60. And this is where the flag kind of forms right over here. And then it just shot up from 60 all the way to, I believe, 160. And it just keeps on going, you know, went up to, I believe, 100, 200, I mean. So this is a high tide flag, went from 30 to 230. up to today so here was a high tide flag over here got a little bit of a pullback and then it's just taken off up to 357 and how they like to say this in investing the longer the base on any good news, the longer the space up. So the longer the base, the longer the space. So that's what Supermicro Computer is doing. It's really the leader in, in the AI computing world, and we'll just have to continue to watch this. Yesterday, I closed, I believe, at 309. And today it closes at 
423. So let's take a look at what else is moving the market today. Before we do that, let's kind of look at some of our ETFs, financials. Got a nice boost today in the financials. Had a little bit of a pullback below the 20 day moving average. Came up to the 20 and now it's really powered up above that. Energy, got a little bit of a bounce today, but it's still under water. Communications is going to be up big time because both Google and Meta are up big. Utilities, so underwater. Real estate, got a nice bounce off of the 50-day moving average today. Biotech, not doing too much. Interesting, the other biotech EDF got a nice bounce today. And IGV software really started to move up. We got a lot of big software names coming up, Adobe, ServiceNow. So we'll just kind of have to see how this um, ETF continues to perform in the future. Technology resembles uh, software as well and it's up big time second day in a row pretty good volume infrastructure got a little bit of a bounce here semiconductor index is up big time up nearly four percent i believe it's up eight percent for the week look at the big fish nvidia up 4% today. Wide materials hit a new high. It's up nearly 5%. Broadcom up nearly 6%. We got a blue dot here as it moves through the blue zone here. As we said, we did the 1120 to 1130 spread. And we took that off when it went through 1130 and kept one uh, option uh, in, in the portfolio to convert to stock uh, in, later in February. So there we go there. Microsoft, we have two options to convert. We bought right over here, I believe at 350, now at 398, up 1.22%. Meta, we bought over at 330, right around over here. Now it's had set the new all time high up to 383.45. And one of our other portfolios are managing, bought some of Apple today at right around 190. And um, it's at 1.55% today. Also bought uh, some Google for that other portfolio. And it's moving out of the zone here, up a little over 2%. <clears throat> Look at airlines. Uh, they're pulling back here. Leisure activity. Got a nice bounce. Two liters, RCL, up 1.37%. And Carnival <clears throat> up slightly, and Airbnb up 2%. Uh, in technology, the other big mover today was Net. Had a nice move, bouncing off of the 20 day moving average, up 4.35%. Industrials. Uh, moving up 0.65% here and building materials 
Got a nice move, still butting their head up against a 50 day. XME. Got a nice bounce today, the metals. And home builders. Had a little bit of a pullback to the 10 day, and now they bounce here and just moving higher. And our favorite ETF, but over right around here, and it's just continued higher. Three times the FANG, um, got Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google, NVIDIA, and Microsoft in here. So let's go take a look of some of the other issues that we're moving today. like Wayfair, got some good buying, got a gap up, massive volume, up over 10% today. Taiwan Semiconductor, which kind of led the market yesterday, continues strong today. Uh, pretty good volume, up about 285%, moves up 1%. We did put on a spread trade, Vertical spread on Learn, I believe, did 60 to 60, maybe it was 65 to 70. I'll have to take a look at that in a second. Just take a look at it right now. Not sure why it's not showing folio here. Here we go. So we did a sixty five seventy um, spread option. So we'll see if it kind of moves in that direction and learn. We'll get back to where we were. Limbach Holdings got a nice bounce, pretty massive volume, up nearly 4%. Um, provides construction and maintenance services for heating, ventilation, air conditioners. Meriprise Financial, big bounce. Earnings are in five days. That's a thing to worry about. Celestica, Canadian contract manufacturer of electronic products for healthcare. Um, got some pretty big volume here today, up a little over 8%. Synopsis, got a nice bounce, up 4.65%. Earnings are supposed to be 24% this year and 16% next year. And semiconductors, ASML continues its move, got continued strong volume like they got yesterday. And then TNK keeps moving up, up another 3% here. There's two ways you can invest in this, I guess. Um, <clears throat> this one is up 2.31%. Uh, International Crude Oil and Liquefied Natural Gas Marine Transportation Services. And 
that's a look at things we're moving today. Take a couple of big losers, iRobot, which was not in the news. Gaps down nearly 27%. Look at this um, huge volume. If you had put on a put, you would be doing pretty well right now. <laughs> EPG, we may have looked at that in the news, down 2.46%. Cummins Diesel, down nearly 2%. And um, we had a big loser in Celsius, the beverage maker, down over 12% almost 13% here. And then in healthcare, Halo, down 2.23%. And same kind of area is drink maker, Vita Coco, down nearly 9%, pretty heavy volume. Former leader in tech continues his downturn. Pretty amazing. Try to come out of a cup with Hendo and just could never get any buying moving forward. And um, I believe their earnings are continuing to move down. Their earnings were 44% uh, last quarter. Previous quarter were up 260%. So that you can see that our earnings are slowing down. So that's our show for today. This morning's with Michael for information and educational purposes only. It's your responsibility to do your own due diligence. Um, if you have any questions, financial questions, we'd be happy to answer. And feel free to reach out to us in the comment section on our YouTube channel. And um, in the meantime, we wish you continued success. Hope everybody has a great weekend. And keep reaching for your goals and reaching for your activities to meet those goals. In the meantime, happy Friday and have a great weekend.